Hello, I'm Amy and welcome to 811 Moon. It was a brisk fall morning this morning and I decided to do a little fall decorating for the tarot cards and the oracle cards. And this pick a card is your weekly food for thought. And I'm gonna be using the Soul Truth Oracle by Brianne Hovey. And we're, you'll, we're also using, we are also using the Universe Has Your Back oracle and basically you're intuitively going to pick your card from the pick a card and this is pile one two three and four so take a few deep breaths and intuitively pick your card but this oracle reading is going to be a little bit different because in the soul truth deck she poses questions to you so it's basically questions for you to think about in your own life and then on the back she gives you some words of wisdom sometimes there's a quote from a uh, you know a famous author or a famous psychologist and then there's a mantra plus we have the universe has your back giving you a little food for thought as well I just thought this would be a great way to start the week off by having some food for thought Again, this is pile one with the yellow leaf, pile two with this orange leaf, pile three with the green leaf, and pile four with this veined orange leaf here. Take a few cleansing breaths. Close your eyes and intuitively pick pile one, two, three, or four and there'll be timestamps down in the description and in the comment section. I'll see you at your pile. Pile one, this is your reading, your weekly food for thought. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. That's beautiful. Now here's your question to think about, okay, pile one? How can I surrender even more in this moment this moment right now pile one how can you surrender even more in this moment and let's see it is essential to have clear strong intentions of what we desire but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome it's time to surrender let the universe have some breathing room to work let go of the wheel, and I immediately think of the Wheel of Fortune, right, the, from the tarot, and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Today's soul action, so this is for you. Know this, so deeply that your soul vibrates, pile one. You are not alone. Supporting my dreams never ceases to amaze me. Two different decks. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. I I can I can totally attest to this with letting go of things that we want. You know, we put it out in the universe and we get impatient, or we want something to happen right away, or we think it's not coming because we can't see what's happening behind the scenes. And pile one, this is to remind you that you need to wait, <laughs> which I know you don't want to hear that, and that you need to see beyond what is before your eyes because there's other things going on. Today's mantra. Now, what I would like you to do is I'm going to read this mantra and then I'm gonna read it again slowly for you to say it with me, okay? Today's mantra is I surrender. I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome and I joyful, joyfully trust the process. I'm gonna read it again slower and please repeat after me. I surrender. I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome and I joyfully trust the process. Group one, 
I hope this was enlightening for you and food for thought for this week. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Group 1. Blessings to you. Pile 2. Here is your weekly food for thought. So on the top here, we've got the orange leaf. We've got the universe has your back. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Beautiful. I love these cards. Now this is the question that you are, you know, food for thought for this week. When was the last time I danced freely? Freely. Whoa. Take a minute to think about that. Really resonate, sit on that for a second. When's the last time that you just let go and danced freely? You danced like nobody was watching you. You got silly. Even if you don't have rhythm or you're awkward, it doesn't matter. I am totally awkward. I am not a good dancer. I'm just telling you right now. So I can totally attest to this that not thrilled, but I mean, was it in your bedroom? Were you outside? Was it a, a hot summer day by the beach? When's the last time you danced freely? And if you can't remember, this is why you picked this pile because you need that group two, pile two, card two, however you want to say it. You need it, apparently, right? Dance. Because it will shift you into a beautiful state. Because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart. Because fear lives in the head, along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. If you happen to listen to Pile 1, that was a little bit of a tidbit for Pile 1 too, impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a charge of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a sole reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Now here's what you need to do, right? This is what you need to do, pile two. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within and, you, and the feeling you feel being you. Because dance is an expression of ourselves, right? I can think of, if you ever watch Seinfeld, you think of Elaine when she does that silly dance and they are all embarrassed or whatever. It's obviously, um, you know, a comedy. If you've never seen it, Seinfeld, it's very funny. You should try to maybe Google that on YouTube to watch Elaine do her dance. But this is so important. And this other, the other piece of this for you, group two, pile two, is that it's going to raise your vibration. I know it sounds crazy. I know you're like, aim, I cannot dance to save my life, but that doesn't matter. Because you're moving your body, you're, you're taking deep breaths, you're expressing yourself, and you're, this, your favorite song's playing, which uplifts you automatically, I just gotta chill, uplifts you automatically that you are raising your vibration. You, Group two are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. So that is your job. I think, in my opinion, every day this week, group two, your job, this is, this is your mission. Group two has a mission to dance to your favorite song. It could be a different song every day. I would do it five days. Don't eat, you don't have to do it seven if it's uncomfortable. Do it just for five days in your bedroom, in your bathroom, in your basement if you're uncomfortable, or outside on your front lawn if you just uh, have Aquarian energy and could care less what people think, right? That's the attitude you should have. But whatever makes you comfortable, wherever you feel comfortable, listen to that song. We all have access easily to music now with our phones, our Alexas, our... <laughs> our um, it, you know, any YouTube, you can pull up any song on YouTube. Definitely group two. I'm excited. I, I'm loving this right now. I'm totally loving this because I'm going to do this with you. I am going to, for the next five days, 
dance to a song, one of my favorite songs, and I have a bunch of favorite songs, and I'm going to do this with you. So your mission, group two, it's not, it's not a, oh, you know, try to do, no, this is a mission for you, group two, to dance. Dance freely and leave me a comment below about how you felt about it, group two. How did it make you feel? Did you feel invigorated after? Did that little bit of exercise like rejuvenate you? Was hearing your favorite song without riding in a car or hanging out with friends or something just totally? Did you hear something different in the music? Because a lot of times spirit will talk to us, our higher selves will talk to us through music. And I think that's really important too. Group two, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. Please let me know in the comments if you're gonna do it and are embarrassed to say anything, leave a little dance emoji. You know the lady with the red dress emoji? Leave her in the comments for me and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, group two. Bye-bye. Group three, welcome to 811 Moon. Let's see what you have. We've got the green leaf for you and I'm just loving this fall weather. It's just been so cool and beautiful. I woke up a little bit chilly. Um, with my fan on and my window open, but it felt really good. It felt really good. It felt like I felt like Persephone is preparing to descend into the underworld. So let's see here. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So triggers are really important. I use that word a lot in my readings, triggers, because you could be triggered in a positive way you can be tri triggered in a negative way okay so triggers so but i feel as though the the feelings that live below the triggers like I, i'm going to give you an example right now i talked to a friend on the phone before i started making this video and we were talking about stories and we were talking about bridge to terabithia and how um the situation with the the child and everything i don't want to give it away but it was a sad story and then we talked about other sad stories. And then we talked about a story about a, a man losing his wife. And that, you know, that's a trigger for me because I'm a widow. So I was like feeling those feelings were coming to the surface. But I have to kind of lean into those feelings. I can't bury them. I can't decide, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to go do whatever and, and ignore those feelings. You know, I felt them. They were there. And then we moved on to in the conversation to something else. So that's a trigger for me. And I'm just sharing that That's that so you understand that there, everybody has triggers. Everybody has something that's going to set them off. You can have positive triggers, like happy triggers, or you can have um, negative ones. And I feel as though the word trigger usually has a negative connotation, but that's just a whole nother rant <laughs> for a whole nother day. It doesn't matter. Connotation, denotation with words. But you need to give yourself permission to feel those feel those trigger, tri the feelings that live under the triggers. And like I said, I just had one. It's ironic that I'm getting this right now, this Oracle card right now, because I just had one. But you just never know when those triggers are gonna hit either. And I'm sure a lot of you can attest to that. A lot of you can say, you know what? I didn't realize that this was gonna trigger me or make me sad or make me f well up with tears or make me angry or make me feel hurt. A lot of times we don't see it coming. So moving on to your thought of the week, weekly food for thought. So do I believe I am worthy? Think about that for a minute, group three. Do I believe I am worthy? I am hoping that every single person immediately had the word yes in their head. I'm hoping. And even if you did say yes, sometimes we need to be reminded. So let's see what Brianne Hovey has to say about being worthy and deserving. You are worthy, group three. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Maya Angelou. Love her. I don't know if you've read any books by Maya Angelou. 
amazing, amazing author. I think she recently passed away. I will have to double check my facts on that, but I'm almost positive because I remember feeling really, and I, oh my gosh, I got a pain in my chest. Yeah, she's, she's passed. Okay. So moving on to today's soul action. First of all, I definitely think if you've never read my Angelo, I'm going back to that, I definitely would pick up one of her novels. And maybe if I can remember, I will put um, a link to one in the description. Uh, I've read a couple. I don't want to get off subject. Okay. Check the description for any Maya Angelou books uh, links. Okay. Today's soul action. And you also have a mantra group three. Soul action. For a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? You are totally worthy of it, group three. 100%. There's not one ounce of thought in my head that you're not. Not one ounce. You are totally worthy. What, if, if you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you deserve it. Never let anything that someone put in your head take you away from your dreams. And it happens a lot. People get derailed. And I'm thinking of the book. I'm thinking, I've got, I've got to be honest. This is really, really um, telling for me right now too because the person I was on the phone with was a fellow author. And a lot of times authors get derailed from their, from their book writing or their storytelling because they might get a bad review or someone makes a comment or, you know what, group three. It's your work. They get what they get. If they don't like it, they don't have to. You have to like it, right? So if you have a big goal or dream, I mean, I don't know, you wanna open an ice cream shop that sells 100 different flavors of ice cream, go for it. And if somebody says to you, well, why do you have to have so many flavors? Because I want them. That's the reason, right? It doesn't matter what anybody else wants. It's what you want, group three, pile three. So today's mantra, I'm going to read it, then I'm going to read it more slowly so you repeat it after me, okay? So I am worthy of it all. I am worthy of it all. Now repeat after me. I am worthy of it all. And if you're not familiar with Law of Attraction and Manifesting, this is a big part of it, feeling worthy, feeling like you deserve everything that comes your way. And let's go back to this. The reason these two are connected, and you know, spirit never ceases to amaze me why, you know, this card came out with this card. Own the feelings underneath, we all have them. And if anybody tells you they don't have triggers or they don't have, um, you know, sad feelings or, or I, I don't know, the word shame is coming to my head. I don't, it is what it is. Take it where it resonates. If you don't have shame, you might have guilt. If you don't have guilt, you might have just sad memories or something that sticks with you. And it's always the saddest or the guiltiest or the sh most shameful that stick out, right? We have to pull on the ones that are beautiful, the ones that are showing you are loved because you are loved. You are worthy of it all. And that's a step to manifesting, realizing that you deserve it, group three, pile three. You deserve everything that you want out of this life. It's your life to live, nobody else's. Nobody's walked a day in your shoes ever so group three you might even want to write this down or type it into your phone I am worthy of it all and all this week say that to yourself I am worthy of it all I am worthy of it all because group three you are group three if this resonated with you if this if this inspired you Please leave 
an emoji in the comment section. I want to say I, if something just came. I, can, if you could leave a dove in the comment section or a bird, because I feel like knowing that you're worthy of it all will bring you so much freedom. Group three. So please leave a bird emoji or a dove emoji, whatever emoji. I don't know what other birds are on there. I know the dove is there. And group three, I wish you well and know that you are worthy. I'll see you in the next video. Please click the like, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you back here. And please share this video so that others may find it. Thank you so much, group three. Bye-bye. Group four, this is your pick a card, your weekly food for thought from the Soul Truth uh, Oracle deck and the Universe Has Your Back Oracle deck. And let me tell you, my, my breath, uh, my breath has been taken away by the last three piles. Like each one of them was just so powerful. And I'm really loving the Soul Truth Self Awareness deck by Brianne Hovey. She's amazing and the universe has your back. I mean, it's just amazing how <laughs> when you shuffle and you put things out and you know, you ask, you know, the de the decks to give you what you need to tell the message, to tell the story, to give the guidance that someone is needing or looking for to uplift them and move them through. It's just amazing. It's just amazing to me. So, if you picked group 4, you have this leaf uh this veined leaf here this orange veined leaf and let's see what we have i always trust the direction of the universe and know i'm being guided yeah i feel like there's some like i think this this group is heavy on the spirit guides i think you a lot of you are um very awake and do a lot of work with spirit guides for some reason i just got that message and I had it even really before. I remember I said my, I feel like very full. I got it even before I flipped this and I don't even know if this stuff is in the camera. Okay, who am I ready to forgive? So that is your weekly question. Who am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. And that's a quote from Carl Jung. Okay? A lot of times she has quotes on here. These I love these cards. You guys, if you don't do tarot, if you don't own oracle cards, I and you want to like do some soul searching and and work stand in your own truth, this this is a great deck to get. And it is in the description below. Because I feel like if I didn't do anything with tarot and I didn't do anything with oracle cards, this is a set I would, I would invest in because each day I could pick or once a week or once a month I could pick a card and it would be sparking something for me to work on or think about for that week. So your question is, who am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. We can't control everything that happens to us, right? We can't control who lives, who dies. We can only have certain control over certain things. And sometimes people treat you like crap and there's nothing you can do about it. But you can choose how you react to it and you can choose to how you accept it into your life. Okay, so what she says here, it is time to let go, forgive and move onward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? There's a lot here. Pile four, group four, card four. There's a lot there. I'm feeling a lot of messages streaming in for whoever, you know, for, for the group that's watching this. And it's heavy. I, 
I, I feel like I have to say this, and if this doesn't resonate with you, then this part of the reading wasn't for you. If you didn't say something to someone who passed away and you regret it, know that they know that they know that they know. You didn't have to articulate it in the 3D world because they understand it on the other side. Whatever you had to say to them, they already know. Don't have don't hold guilt for that. I don't know that's coming out of somewhere. That's for someone. Have no guilt. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's my kitten playing. She is just, she's turning one in a couple of days and she's so funny. She's really coming into her personality. So group four, know that whatever you needed to say that didn't get said, they know. And they love you too. Take it where it resonates. Whoever that was for, that was for someone very specific. But this card is about forgiveness. So I feel like part of part of this is about you not forgiving yourself. And for those that need to forgive others that have done something to you. It says to look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. That's a powerful sentence. Look at it from their shoes. You can do your best you can to look at it from their shoes. But in actuality, no one's ever walked in anyone else's shoes but their own in this lifetime, right? But you can do your best to put yourself in the position. But it's you're never going to get the answer you seek for why they did that to you. This is very specific. This is for someone. This is This is like someone is racking the, you are racking your brain someone is racking their brain that's watching this that's saying why the f did these people do what they did to me what motivated it what sparked it what happened what did i do you cannot do that to yourself you're taking up energy and time with that it's that's their own problem that's their own issue that's their own shadow work that came out against you. Has nothing to do, it, it, I mean it has to do with you in the sense that it happened to you, but it happened because this person's shadow work, this person needs to shed light on themselves and understand their own motivations and whatever their lack is. This is, all, this is very specific. But what you can do is notice how you grew and what you learned, pile four. What did you learn? How did you grow? And if you feel like you're still in the hurt stage, like you haven't been able to move forward yet because you're still really hurt, it's time. This, is the, this card is your wake up call that you need to start the forgiveness process. Because then you can step into the rationalization and understanding of, you know what? We're all human. We all make mistakes. Even, with, even though what they did to me was cruel, it was out of a place of their lack, not mine. Uh, whoever that needs to hear that. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? This is, this is part, the resistance is that hurt, right? Or you not letting go. Nobody says you have to be friends with this person again. Nobody says you have to go date this person again. Nobody says you have to even have dinner with this person again. But don't let this resistance of holding on to the, this hurt shadow your life, color your life, change your life. By taking away your joy in every single moment your soul wants freedom from this and like I feel like this is like four or five different readings with one card from this woman this is amazing my heart's very heavy right now you you're so hurt and I I get it I've been so hurt by people too and I just don't even know what even sparked it I don't ow <laughs> You might want to do some meditation today, but 
Here's your sole action. Write a forgiveness letter. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on a scrap of paper. You can get a notebook. You can get your journal out if you journal. Write a forgiveness letter. This is important for whoever's hearing it. If you get it out on paper, even if you write it on a separate piece of paper, and I think this is for the, for the first group or the first person I was talking to about the person who's passed, if it might help you because it's physical and we're in the 3D world and you didn't get to say what you wanted to say to the person on the other side, write it on a piece of paper and burn it so it goes out into the universe. Or write it on a piece of paper and bury it near their graveside. Uh, yeah, I think that would really be closure for you. For the other group that's just still really hurt and about something else that someone's done to them. So write this forgiveness letter. You can write it in your journal, write it anywhere, and you can do the same thing. You can burn it if you want. You can mail it to them if you want. Whatever you want to do to help you release this pain and hurt your feelings so that you can move on to the next section of how did you grow, what did you learn. Then practice, I always have trouble pronouncing this, this is like a Hawaiian um, philosophy. Ho'opon, I know it's, it, you, you say it fast and it runs together, it's Ho'opono, Ho'no Ponono. It's Hawaiian. It's about the steps of forgiveness. It's like the things that you say before bed, like I forgive, I forgive the person, I let it go, I am who I am, that type of thing. You'd have to look it up. Prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. Oh, this is it. I love you, I am sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Always have gratitude because like someone once told me in a class I took, Every person you meet, whether they stay in your life or don't stay in life, they bring you a gift. Might not be the gift you wanted because it might be hurtful or painful, but you learn. The gift is what you learned from it, from their existence in your life, their existence in this 3D world. They're a lesson. And we learn from everybody, don't we? We always learn from people. So say this with me. I'm going to say it slower. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And you're saying to yourself, well, why am I saying that when they're the one that hurt me? What's that all about? By doing this, you have to forgive yourself for holding on to it. That's what happens too. Like we, we hold on to these hurts and these these things that people have done to us and they fester and they lower our vibration. This will raise your vibration. This will really help you to raise your vibration and you need to trust. Let's go back to this. Trust in the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. This is, this is something to help you. If you want to move to your next level, if you want to level up, you got to release those hurts. You've got to forgive. And re always remember where the person was hurting you was from their feeling of lack. Group four, I wish you the best. Remember, I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Write that forgiveness letter this week. This is your weekly food for thought to help you, to give you guidance. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Group 4, and I wish you well. Bye-bye.